Hot potato, 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 potato. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to another one of Holmesy's cooking adventures. Right, yeah. What am I going to do for you today? This is another meal I want to cook on a stay over when you go motorbike riding. Unfortunately, I'm not in a position where I can do that. So, what the main ingredient and the thing that I want to show you today is mashed potato. Because whenever we go on a motorbike ride, we take sausages, steak, chops, blah, blah, blah. Usually the red meat because it lasts long. So, I'm going to put some chops on there and some onions and stuff because that's going to be the side dish to what I'm actually trying to display today. So I'm going to make mashed potato, not using a regular potato, but we're going to use packet spud. So we're going to do that today and I'm going to show you how easy it is. That is going to be complemented with my uh, chops and onions over the top. And when you read the packet on this particular uh, mashed potato mix, it says to mix it with water. And you can do that, but it tastes like shit. So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna spruce it up a little bit and make it a little bit better. And by doing that, rather than use water, we are gonna use milk um, that I have here. So there's a little bit of milk there. Now, that's just regular milk in that bottle because I'm home today. I have done this before. Uh, if you're gonna go on a stay over, one of those will do the trick. That's the exact measurement just about there. So yeah, you can use that. That's long life, straight off the shelf, and that will uh, do the job just as well. But I'm gonna save that for my next trip, so I won't use that. As I said, I'll use the regular stuff because I'm at home and I can get more of what I want. $1.95, Safeway, Coles, IGA, any good leading supermarket. So that's that. But I don't want you to go away because I'm going to cook that meal first and then once I've put that meal together we'll have a look at it and have a bit of a taste and then as a little bit of an extra and a little bit of fun I'm going to show you how we can make mashed potatoes out of a packet of chips. That's right, we're going to make mashed potato out of this bag of chips. So let's get some oil on the uh, Ozpig. I've had that heating up for a little bit now. Um, so, let's get some spray on there. And as I always say, get your prep work done. So we're pretending we're out in the bush and all this stuff I've got here would usually be in smaller containers or whatnot. So we'll get some onion on because they take a little while. Um, and then we'll get the chops on. And we'll get this stuff just about ready because when we do the mashed potato, that doesn't take long at all. Um, I'm gonna put the milk in there. It's only gotta heat up enough till it's, it's just before it boils. And then we add in the packet mix and load that in slowly as it gets thick and gets the consistency of what mashed potato should look like. Uh, we probably won't go too wet straight away because we're gonna add butter and we're gonna spruce it up a little bit to make it a bit nicer, so. I'll show you that when we get there. So for now, I've spoiled myself today because I'm only making lunch for myself. So uh, yeah, I went and got myself four lamb cutlets. They were $12 or $13 there. So, But uh, as you know, I've got a family of five and I need a bank loan to uh, shout the family this sort of stuff. So I'll get them on and I'm gonna put them on at the same time because this will all take a little bit of a while. So while I'm doing this, uh, I'd just like to uh, say a big thank you to all the comments that I received from my last two bike videos uh, when I spoke about um, branching out a little bit, changing the name to sort of Holmes' Adventure, leaving the cooking off the end. Obviously I'll still wear my top and I'll still do cooking, um, but uh, yeah, much appreciated on the comments that he's uh, sent me and all that, and I'm looking forward to making more videos um, with a little bit of extra content in it, a bit of bike stuff, a bit of camping, uh, all that sort of stuff. And we'll keep a little bit of cook in it too, and I'll still do the um, regular cook 
segments like I'm doing now. Uh, I'll keep them up, but maybe just won't be as many of them. So but that's all good. Bit of salt and pepper. We do that. We'll give these onions a bit more of a spray. And another little handy trick is, I know we're talking about mashed potato today, but uh, there's something else I may as well share while I'm doing it. And uh, once you put onions on the fire, and you start cooking them up, you add a little bit of brown sugar is good if you've got it, but white sugar will do the same. You might not know that when you actually put sugar and you heat it up, it actually starts browning off and goes into a, a liquid. And that's exactly what it does with the onions but it gives it that really nice brown, sweet effect that we want. So, not a whole lot. Just give them a bit of a sprinkle. And it makes them really nice and caramelized. So, meats on, onions on. We're talking mashed potato. Let me get that nearly cooked. And when that's nearly cooked, or close to where I can just leave it on the plate, then we'll get into what we're talking about, and that's mashed potato. I'll get back to you. Welcome back guys. Starting to heat up nicely. I thought I'd just come back here for a minute because um, I'm going to have some veggies with this. This is exactly what I would do if I was um, out on a camp. So what I've done is I've uh, grabbed myself a small tin of peas. Easy to carry on the bike. Just crack the lid, and uh, while I'm waiting for the meat to do its thing, this is a, a good way. So what we're sort of trying to pretend to do here is, there's a couple of ways you can do this out in the bush. You could put this plate on this burner, cook all the meat up first and the onion and get that right, and make sure you've got some foil uh, with you, which I normally carry and then you could take this off the burner if this is all you had and put the foil over the top and the plate and the foil would keep that, that uh, meat and the onions nice and warm while you do what I'm about to do now is I'll put that on there um, turn the gas on so all we'll do is we'll heat the bottom of the can we'll get that hot and as I said you get that hot you could put that to the side because it won't cool down that quick and do the mashed potato last because it takes less than a minute to heat that, that, that amount of milk and then put the powder in and the butter and make it all nice and then serve. But um, that's one way you could do it on a little burner. Secondly, if you've got a fire, which you usually do when you go camping, you could just sit that plate on some uh, hot coals, throw your peas in amongst the hot coals as well and only use this um, burn to do the milk or you can even put the milk on the fire and just hold it in there put the pot in there for a little bit let it get hot because once it starts to get to that stage where it starts to the point where it's going to start bubbling because it's almost at that boiling thing you just pull it off and you stuff in but this is how I'm doing it today uh, gives me an opportunity to show you a couple of different methods on how I would do it if I was out on my bike doing an overnighter um, and it gives me an opportunity to talk to you. So, uh, I'll get you to come over here, we'll turn this stuff and have a look because there's not a lot we can do until that's done. So, come over and have a look. You're on the, uh, you were sitting on the KDM seat then. So, as I said, these will brown up really nice because of that sugar. I mean, they do anyway, but the, the sugar just gives them a nice bit of flavour. So, ooh, that's what I like about cutlets. You can actually hit them pretty hard and cook them pretty hard, and they still taste really, really good because they've got a lot of um, fat in them. So, yeah, I've just put them right over to the side because they're just about done. So, what I'm going to do is, once this uh, peas is warmed up, have a look in there, not a lot of fire going on in there, just enough to uh, cook what's going on up top there, and the peas are on the burner, once they start bubbling, we'll uh, take them off, 
can go over here while that's going on. Yeah, we'll take those off and uh, get the milk going and I'll get you over for that. And like I said, this hasn't been on for very long. I think that meat's probably been on for less than five minutes. So, and it's not going hard that fire as you just saw. Peas will happen. So you can pretty much wrap this whole meal up in about 15 minutes, I reckon. So anyway, get the peas done and I'll come back to you. Welcome back. Oh yeah, guys. Peas are just starting to bubble over a bit. The old glove. So I'll whack them on there. It'll keep them warm. So mashed potato time. So those um, packets there of the Deb, and they by the way, they've got like an onion mix in them. And you can buy a Coles brand one for a dollar. And I wanted to get that today, but they didn't have any. So it's got like an onion powder in it, whereas the Coles brand one doesn't. So that will feed two, three people. So I'm not gonna open that packet today. I've already got one that uh, I had a play with the other day. So I'll uh, use that one. So what I've got in there is 150 ml of milk. So we'll sit that on there and pour it in. So 150 ml of milk. I will pour the uh, dead potato mix in that and just put it in slowly and stir it until it gets to a thick consistency. Um, and then we'll put some butter in and we'll work from there. So as you can see, I can bring you over. Zippity doo -dah. Milk's in. Might just turn him up a bit. And that's all looking pretty good, I reckon. Flames died down. Just nice, giving me a bit of warmth. Because it's, because it's actually pretty cold. You at the old uh, rancho today in Sunbury HQ. So I'll just put this back up there and I'll come back to you. Rightio, guys. Just about there now. So if you want to zoom in, you can see that there's a bit of steam coming off that milk now. I'm actually going to turn the burner off. And I'm going to open this packet of potato mix. And uh, see if we can't make some magic happen. So, I'll pour a little bit in. I won't go too, too hard too fast. I'm obviously going to put a fair bit more in, but I just want to uh, get the, consist the consistency right. You can already smell it. So remember, that burner is off now because the milk's warm. So we'll put a bit more in. And remember, we're going to add butter to this um, to give it some more flavour. So we can make it a bit thicker than what we need it. But if I do it slowly, I just want to try and keep that lump factor out of it. And the uh, reason why I'm doing it slowly is because it takes a little while for the milk to absorb the uh, potato powder. So we just do it in sessions or in installments. Now if you come in with the camera, you can see it's starting to really take shape and it looks like mashed potato. Now I'm only making a small portion for myself today because I don't want to have a big lunch. And I'm just doing this a trial. Now I can feel that as I stir it, that potato mix is really bind into the milk now. So let's spruce it up. Salt and pepper. Just a little bit. And one of my favorites to add to mashed potato is nutmeg. I put it in, my mother used to put it in her homemade mashed potato all the time. It's just what I go with. I reckon it gives it some extra flavor. Um, really nice taste, so you can see. Just have a look with the camera, just a little bit. Um, I know there's other guys that use celery salt. That'd be dedicated to you, Johnny, if you're watching. 
you told me about that once before did you ask about that in one of my uh, videos where could I get celery salt so obviously you've been using it in your mashed potato bit of butter and we'll add more if need be just add ingredients in slowly because you can always add more but you can't take it out once you put it in obviously definitely going to go with some more butter there and I can feel still it's got that real sort of uh, gluggy not not smooth so we'll go a bit more who doesn't like a bit of butter now normally I just have a little bit of butter in a small container but again I'm at home makes it a bit easier right yeah time for a taste quite nice mashed potato no problem with that at all I mean if you put it versus real potatoes it's not, but it is very close. It is very close to the real thing. And that's what's good about this packet mix. Easy to carry on a bike. One packet, you probably get three meals out of it. And very easy to store. Takes up no room whatsoever. Let's serve up a meal. So, we can put our little, turn our burner off. Put our little burner down there. Clean up a little bit. We're all set. Serve up our mashed potato. As you can see, you could have made a little bit more if you wanted to, but that's probably, probably would normally have a bit more than that if I was eating I probably have twice that amount but for today's exercise that'll do now tongs this is where it gets good a little bit of onion Put my motorbike gloves on, welding gloves. But I would use my motorbike gloves if I was out riding. Take the lid off him. Normally I'd just pour the water out. But I won't today. I'll be a grub and I'll lick my spoon. Mm. And I'll just go in like this. Again, you could probably get away with sharing with another person from a little tin and get two nights out of it. Put that back up there, put that down there. Have a look at that, guys. Meant for a king in the bush. Now it's time to taste. Time to taste. I'll mix a bit of that mashed potato in there with the onion. Yeah, really good. Now that I've um, mixed the onion in there, if I served that up to you and didn't tell you I made it from a packet, I don't reckon you'd notice the difference. I really don't. That is really, really nice meal. I could eat that every day. Mmm. What I am looking forward to is one of those babies. Mmm. -hmm. 
They are just heaven. All right. Remember, the segment's not finished. I'm going to tuck into this and eat it all up. Out with the deb. And I'm going to show you how to make mashed potatoes with a packet of chips. Let me get into that. I'll come back to you. And welcome back, guys. Bit of a quick clean up. I'm getting smoked out now. Got rid of all the other stuff. So, yeah, let's get back to mashed potato out of a packet of chips. That's right, we're gonna make mashed potato out of a little bag of Kettle's sea salt chips. So, there is a little bit of uh, mathematics to this. And what I mean by that is, what we're gonna use is one cup of water against a 70 gram packet of chips. So, normally I would carry a couple of these bottles in my panniers and what's this one? I think it's 250 mil or something. So, as I said, at home, we'll just uh, do it pretty much how I said. So, we put one cup of water in there because we can always add more later. And we will get that on the flame. So, I have to put water in there before I put the pot on the burner, otherwise, it tips up. On with the gas. Same principle as before guys, you need to get the water hot just to the point where um, it just gets, just before it gets to boiling point. So it's only a cup of water, won't take that long. So let that do its thing. So we will add a little bit of milk to it later. Once it starts thickening up to make it taste better, we'll put a bit of salt and pepper in and we'll still go with the old nutmeg to make it taste a little bit tastier. Remember, it is a packet of chips. So, what we do here now is we're waiting for that to get hot. Now, to make this work a little bit better and a little bit thicker, what I'm gonna do is just break down all those chips into a fine mixture or a powder. So just break it up. Last time I did it, I'd have to be a bit careful because I didn't leave any room in the bottom of the bag and I actually broke the ass out of the bag. So, so just think about it. You're out on your motorbike. Uh, you've got a sausage left in your pannier from the night before and a rash of bacon and an egg. Mm, oh, what can I have with that? Mashed potato would be alright. And you can go into a little servo to get some fuel. They don't have any potatoes and they don't have that potato uh, packet mix. But the servo has a packet of chips. Now there's no reason why you couldn't use a barbecue flavoured chip or a chicken flavoured chip. Um, I haven't done that yet. Um, yeah, but you could do it if you wanted a sort of a flavoured mashed potato. I'm getting really smoked out there, so it doesn't have to be really broken down, Max, because it will dissolve in there eventually. But the more you do it here, the quicker that this happens. So anyway, I'm going to keep squeezing. That's still getting hot. Come back to you shortly. All right, guys, I'm just gonna turn that down a bit. If you have a look in there now, you can see the water's bubbling. I won't turn it down too much because it's a bit windy. So, that's nice and hot. I have to move the fire because we're getting smoked out. So, as you can see, the uh, chippies are all crushed down. So, just whack those in, the whole bag. Now stick with the uh, pot please, and uh, all you do is just stir, 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 stir. So if you want to get back onto the potato mix please, Miss Camera Lady, not too close because it'll probably steam up. And as I said, 
just keep stirring. I sometimes just push things up against the edge of the pot. Now the heat's still on. And I can tell you it absolutely smells very potato-y. Wonder why. And I'll just back that off a little bit. And we continue to stir. So what I'll do now is I might just turn the heat off. And as you can see, it's starting to bubble. Now what I want to do is, that's just water. I'm going to add tiny little bit of milk. Probably won't be adding butter to this mixture. I'm just going to stir that in. Flames off now. Just going to give it that little bit more consistency of mash. Nearly there. Usually I just put a little bit of pepper in this one because they are salted chips, so they're already salty. A little bit of nutmeg. We stir that salt and nutmeg in. Make sure the gas is off and we serve. Mashed potato from a packet of chips. All we used was a bit of salt and pepper, nutmeg, and a very small amount of milk. One cup of water. And we taste. Back to potato. It's amazing. If I was going to say, would I change anything here? I would have probably used a little bit less than a cup of water. Um, because that would have allowed me to use a bit more milk. Because it's a bit runnier than what I would like. But, <laughs> it's like mashed potato. There's nothing more I can um, sort of... nothing more I can say. So there you go. Two ways to make mashed potato. When you're on an overnighter on your motorbike or you're out backpacking, this is how easy it can be. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me again today and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.